Hello friends and welcome to our last night part five of the You Are Enough series. Um, this is our last night of uh, taking this one transfer and using it in all kinds of different ways. So behind me I have all the fun things that we have made so far with this transfer. Um, we made our mirror which is by far my favorite. We etched this on the glass, so I think this one is just so cool. I love this one. Um, we made a super cute t-shirt last night for my daughter to wear. We have made our cool wood circle with our beautiful wooden flowers that I love so much. On it so I love 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 the wood flowers we made our pillow last night in our very oops <laughs> our very vibrant blue um, it just kind of puts you in that spring mood right out of the gate and we made our big big sign I'm just making the place fall apart today. <laughs> we made our big big sign with our houndstooth pattern um, which is also that in the mirror are probably my personal two favorites um, just because they're different than things I normally make um, which is similar to what we're gonna do tonight um, but don't forget that you get the opportunity to win these signs if you share the video so please hit that share button um, sharing that button gets you entered into the drawing and each one of the series, if you share each one of them, and you can do it at any time, doesn't, you don't have to do it the day it was recorded, if you share them, for each time you share it, comment that you share it, and we will, I will enter you in the drawing, and we will do the drawing probably tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, probably tomorrow. We'll do the drawing. But tonight, we are doing something a little bit different. Um, this is something that I haven't done much of um, because it's probably more time consuming than a video. So I did do part of the project already so that um, I sped the project up a little bit um, because it does involve spray painting and um, I didn't really think you wanted to go outside with me and watch me spray paint. <laughs> so... Um, I did do a little bit of it already, but what it involved was I went to Goodwill, or you can go to any thrift store, or you can go to a rummage sale, and you buy those old picture frames that have matted pictures in them, or just picture frames. Um, I usually tend to buy the ones that have the matted pictures in them, and quite honestly, they're a little more work than I like, because you have to, it, it's harder to get the matted picture out than if it's an actual picture frame, but it doesn't take that long. Probably because I'm buying, you know, 20 of them at a time. <laughs> it's more time consuming. But when you just buy a few, you know, if you're normal people, and you just buy a few, it's not so time consuming. So I go to Target. I, or, got Target on the brain. I go to Goodwill. Um, I go to, there's a couple thrift st stores I like, and I watch the buy, sell, trade sites. And I buy, now I, I've already taken these apart, but I buy frames that I then, you know, they don't have to be pretty. They just have to be in decent condition. Um, so I buy the frames. I take the matted picture out of them. Like this one. Doesn't this one just scream 80s too? But what I like about this, you can see it, is the texture in it. And when I spray paint it, it's going to look very cool. Um, but whoo! Probably owned a few brass frames in my day. Just saying. Um, so they don't have to be pretty. Because you're going to make them pretty. They just have to be a decent condition. Um, so you do want to check that, um, the condition that they're in. But I, these ones are just actual picture frames. These ones had matted pictures in them. So what you do is you cut out, because they're like sealed with, it's like masking tape, but it's not. And then they have these metal staples in them that the, the picture frame was stapled in. I take a knife, I have my uh, picture frame knife that's designated just for this purpose, and I bend them. I take out the, the glass and the picture, 
I clean the glass and then I chalk, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, I chalk on one side of the glass and then I spray paint over the chalk. So that becomes the back of the frame. And then I will chalk on the front of the frame and put it back in. So I really chalk on both sides of the glass. I could use ink and I could heat set it in an oven. Again, probably more work than I want to do because on the back side nobody's going to wash it because it's in the frame. On the front side um, that might make some sense because if you're like my mother, my mother sprayed everything. Sorry mom, she, I know you're watching. <laughs> my mother <laughs> taught me the love of Windex and I clean just about everything with Windex. It's that, uh, what's that movie? My Big Fat Greek Wedding or something where Windex, yeah, love Windex. But anyway, so you don't want to spray the front of your glass with Windex if it's chalked and wash it off. So you just want to be careful with it. Um, but it is a two-sided project and it's a lot of fun, but it is time consuming. So I did do half of the project already this afternoon. I would have done more and I'll show you when I do show you the picture frame that I spray painted. It was super windy today. It was not prime spray painting weather today. And I love to spray paint. In fact, I got a new fancy tent for Christmas from my husband so I can spray paint inside in the winter. I haven't tried it yet though because um, I really do prefer to spray paint outside because knowing me, <clears throat> my messy crafting, I'll have spray paint all over my basement. So. It's best to do it outside, but today was super windy. So I did um, only one frame. I was going to do two so that I could, you know, do a little movie magic on you, but it was far too windy. But I'm digressing. So this is what the back side, I'm going to show you a couple different examples because there's three pattern transfers. There's the houndstooth, the polka dot, and the buffalo plaid. Buffalo plaid has been back ordered for months. It is the one I used today because I haven't used it very much um, for you guys. But just know that I have a few if you want one. But it's been back ordered forever. It's coming back in sometime in January. But this is the houndstooth one. So what I did was this color, the light color, is chalk. So I chalked it, the houndstooth, so I could see the glass, so where this darker color is that was glass once I put the houndstooth on it, and then I spray painted it over it, which gave me this beautiful pattern. This is the glass side, this is the chalk side. Um, so now I have this beautiful glass surface to chalk on, and um, I don't have to worry about my background. You can do this in a variety of colors. I like my backgrounds probably the more muted colors, but this would be really cool too if you did the black and the white. Um, you would probably, you could, I would probably chalk the black and spray the white. I would think the white chalk would hide the black spray paint, but I wouldn't want to trust that. So I would go the opposite way. I would chalk the black and then spray paint the white. But, um, so this is the houndstooth one. So I chalked the houndstooth on in this this is the fawn color, and then I spray painted it with this tan color. Then, to give you another example of one, this one's already framed. This one is all done. So this is, again, the fawn polka dot pattern, and then spray painted with that same color. You'll see, I don't have a lot of variety in spray paint in muted colors, so you'll see this color often in what we're going to show you here today. But, um, so I chalk the polka dots and then spray paint over it, put it in the frame, then this is chalked on the opposite side, and then I put it back in the frame. I also spray painted this frame. I think I have an example of this exact frame. I put it in the other room before it was spray painted, but it was not very pretty. But now look at how cute it is. It's a really nice, pretty little spray painted frame. So, um, this is the polka dots. This is houndstooth. These are some frames to give you examples of frames. And then today I did buffalo plaid. I really am breaking the place today. So I thought we could do buffalo plaid and then um, it's kind of sticking to my glass. Now, when you deal with glass, be careful because you cut yourself very, very easily. Oh, hello, 
Cheryl. How are you tonight? And all the other people watching me that I'm sorry have either not commented or we're not friends. Oh, hey, Kathleen. Um, thank you guys for watching me. If you can please hit that share button and comment that you've shared the video, then um, we'll get entered in the drawing and we're going to give the sign away that we're making tonight. But this is the buffalo plaid. I'm hoping with the glare you can see it. So this color is, the, the creamy color is the spray paint, and the, uh, these squares, this is dirty linen. That's not what it's called. It's called fresh linen. I call it dirty linen. Don't listen to me. It's called fresh linen. Um, but this is, it's a dirty white, which is why I call it dirty linen. Um, but this is fresh linen and then it's spray painted. So see, this is the color of the spray paint. So I chalked the buffalo plaid on and then I spray, I chalked it on this side and then I spray painted over it. And then when you flip it over, that's, this is what it gives you. So it's really a cool effect. And now what we're going to do is we're going to chalk on this side of it the you are enough. I did also spray paint the frame. So be careful with these edges because it, as I, I cut myself today. I don't usually cut myself. Um, but anytime you work with glass, this is like the worst paper cut you can ever possibly get. So be super careful or wear gloves because um, I would hate to have you poor ladies hurt yourselves. So then I took my picture frame, and do not look please, because this is not my best spray painting job, too closely, because it was so windy today. So like, as you can see, because it was in a box, so I didn't have tons of overspray, I need to go back and do the sides. Um, so I didn't do a great job. And I gotta tell you, I'm not crazy about this color, because this color is different than the color I spray painted the back with. So you guys take a look. I can't say I like them together. I think we might need, well, maybe, maybe it's not so bad. So you guys let me know because you're going to have the possibility to win this frame. So if you would like the frame spray painted a different color, let me know. And when I fix it, I will spray paint it a different color. Um, but I don't know. I was going back and forth about the color of the frame. The frame was originally black. So I just go to Goodwill. I go to the thrift stores. They're not expensive. Um, I have found some Goodwills are seem to be a little more pricey than others. Um, so I have my favorites that I like to go to. And um, those buy, sell, trade. You can get a lot of, and rummage sales are great for picture frames. Okay, so let's get to chalking. Um, so I'm going to spray paint on the glass. And it's our last night with You Are Enough. Because we've had enough, right? <laughs> oh, we, of course we haven't had enough. Um, but we need to move on to Valentine's Day because it's a celebration of love. Love, 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 love. It's getting there and we need to start decorating our houses for Valentine's Day. So, we're going to move on to Valentine's Day. So, I'm going to do the You Are Enough and just one of the flowers. Can you see what I'm doing? Yep. I'm going to do one of the flowers on top. Having a glass mat is probably not good to do glass. So, I'm just, we're just going to do one tonight. And we'll put it up on top. Hey, Sandy. Thank you for sharing. I think it looks good, but let's see what chocolate... Oh, what chocolates I'm going to use. See, now, Cheryl, I have them all out. <laughs> you probably... I don't have them all out. But I have a lot of them out because I stared at these colors for a long time to come up with what colors should we do because you know me. I tend to lean in my wild berry peacock or my muted. But what we learned when we did some of these other things on patterns is you need that bright color to stand out against the pattern. Now this pattern is pretty muted in color. So I thought, because you might, you want to actually hang this in your house, right? So it should be a color that you want in your house. And peacock and wild berry, while they're beautiful, you know, may not be something that one of you ladies would like to have in your home. So, this is what I came up with. They're very muted. So I'm, I'm a little worried that we're not going to be able to see them against the buffalo plaid. So we're going to try it, and if needed, we'll wash it off. But this is peachy keen, which looks like this because it needs to be stirred. This is what they look like when they haven't been stirred in a while. And 
it's called peachy keen, but it's really pink to me. It's like a bubblegum pink, I think. Not bright bubblegum, but I don't know. To me, it's not peachy. So I thought we would go peachy keen and cherry blossom, which is a super pale. This will look better when it's stirred. Super pale pink. We'll do our flowers in the muted honeydew. I always want to call this garden herb. This is honeydew. And do our words in fawn. Um, because I think it'll just be nice and muted. I just don't know how it's going to stand out. So we're going to try. It's the only way we're going to know. If we don't like it, we wash it off. Now my peachy keen is brand new, which is why it looks like this when you open it. Don't be panicked when you open up your trucks and they look like this. It just needs to be stirred. So it really kind of looks like curdled up cottage cheese to me. Ooh, and it's hard. Um, so this is what happens when you don't use them, you don't stir them, and it's very easy to resolve. You just get your little spritz of water out, you put it in, and you stir. Now, I have found sometimes these little stir sticks I use are not sturdy enough to get um, the chunk, not chunkier, the thicker chalks. So then I move to my handy dandy little popsicle stick, and I get it in there. And then once I get it working and I get the water, because so, it's going to change consistency real fast on us, once you start stirring it. And um, then I'll go back to my little stir stick guy. But this is all you do. Hello, Sarah. See, Cheryl, I agree. I like the muted colors too. I just am worried that they're not going to stand out. But we're going to try. Hello, Lisa. Welcome from Texas. You probably have very different weather than we have today. We are stirring up our peachy keen because it's never been used and it's uh, a little thicker because it's been sitting for quite a while. So we're stirring. It's actually a very pretty color now that I'm stirring it up. I haven't been, a just the word peach. I don't know. Not peachy. It reminds me of Florida, I guess. <laughs> with the peach and the teals, my dad's house, all over Florida. Okay, so I'm just stirring it up. See, look, so it's just like normal now. So you just stir it and add your water. So this was a better job for my popsicle stick guy than my little flimsy stir stick, um, just because it went faster by doing it this way. So, okay, he's in good shape. So we're gonna do peachy keen. We're gonna do cherry blossom. Let's look at how beautiful that is. That's because we've used cherry blossom a lot. Um, I love, oh, this is such a pretty pale, pale pink color. It's baby pink to me. Like pale, well, I think peachy keen is kind of baby pink too. We're having a new baby. Not me. <laughs> Way past those years, sorry. Um, my niece is having a new baby. So we're very excited. And it's a girl. So we're going to get our first girl on that part of the family. Honeydew doesn't want to open. So I'm kind of getting back into girl colors. You know, when you only have one girl, you don't really do a lot of girl colors. Okay, so honeydew, very pretty pale green color. It's going to be our leaves. So normally this is what I do in advance, but because I wanted to talk to you guys about the colors, that's why you don't normally see this part. I normally have this all ready. But as you notice, I'm getting every single color ready to go before I start. And you always do that. Get everything all ready so that when you start, you can just chalk. There's no worrying about adding water, um, flipping back and forth, because once you start, you don't want to start drying. So you want to make sure you're all ready to go. I'm just going to check peachy keen one more time. All right. So. This is how you take inexpensive frames that you buy at thrift stores and turn them into beautiful things. And this keeps sticking because it's spray paint. So we've got our buffalo plaid and our spray paint. So we buffalo plaided one side, spray painted over it. For those of you who are just joining us, we're gonna add our You Are Enough and some flowers. And then we spray painted the frame. I did this stuff this afternoon in the ridiculously windy day. Don't spray paint on windy days, especially not when your husband's home. <laughs> it's, I love spray paint. I absolutely love spray paint. I could spray paint all day. Oops, this is glass. 
So we fuzz, stick it to your clothes, pull it off. You're just picking up some lint um, because it's going to stick to that glass like glue. I mean, it, the reason that you do that is you don't want to, when you pull your transfer up, you will stretch your transfer if it's stuck too tightly. So I'm going to put that down. Then I'm going to put our flowers down so I can line it up where I want it. And make sure we've got everything in good placement. And then this isn't going to take very long to chalk. Because as, you, as you've seen every night, this is a quick and easy little transfer to do. Okay, I think we're good. We're straight. So I'm pushing it down. I'm pushing it down to get the air out. Making sure that I have a good seal in between the teal of the transfer and the silk screen. That's what prevents me from getting any bleeds. So you just... Now I'm just going to do the you are enough first. I'm going to take that off. We'll just do this part first. So this background, I've done, I did a bunch of these signs during the holidays. And I sold every one of them. This was very popular to do the two-sided. Now you could, in theory, um, do just a piece of paper behind it too, in a frame, and and chalk the frame of or the glass of any frame. You don't have to go through the two steps. I just think it's pretty, and I like it that way. So I'm going to do the words again. This is a very muted project. I'm going to do the words in fawn. And I'm hoping they're going to show up. I think they will. Because I did not use fawn on the other side, I used fresh linen. See, I almost called it dirty linen, but I didn't. It's fresh linen. It's not dirty linen. It's just a dirty white, which is really just a gray white. So I'm just putting my excess back. So, okay. I take my squeegee at a 90-degree angle, and I... Squeegee your grass. Make sure there's no lines, because you'll see them when you pull it off. And make sure that you've covered the entire silk screen. Get any excess off, because otherwise it's just a waste of paste. You don't want to waste your paste. The other nice thing about chalking on glass is glass is extremely forgiving. So it's really easy to clean up when you mess up. It's not like fabric at all. Okay, so you pull, start in your corner so that you get it up, and you pull from your middle. Now when you pull, you have two choices. You can pull this way, but you don't want to do that. You want to, if you pull this way, this is what gives you the, the curling. So I've been told. It's untested. So if you pull up and down like this, supposedly you don't get any curling. The only time I've ever really had a lot of curling is on the little tiny ones. When I've had big ones, I've not had curling. Okay, this looks nice. I like this color. You can see it, which is what I was worried about, um, and I think it looks good. So this is what we have so far. Okay, let me figure out an angle so you can see it. So I think the color looks good. Because um, again, we're going, don't break the glass, Marie. <laughs> we're going for something muted. So I'm going to dry it because I'm going to put the flowers back over it. So this one's going to go really quick, this project. It's not super long. So if you haven't shared, please share. We're going to add this sign to our pile of signs that we're going to give away. And I'll give them away tomorrow. So what I'll do tomorrow is I'll go through, probably tomorrow. I teach a class tomorrow night, so it would be late. Um, so maybe it won't be until Thursday. But, um, I'm going to go through every video, and every time you've commented, shared, I'm going to put your name in for the drawing. So if you share it, you know, if you share all the videos, you'll get an entry for every share. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Now I take our transfer, and I'm going to put it up on top. I want it too close, but I don't want it too far away either. And I want it to be as centered as possible. So I stick the transfer down. And go over it to get the air bubbles out. And I, you can feel air bubbles, you can see air bubbles, and you can hear them. Um, air bubbles give you a bleed. 
so that's why you just want to make sure. And these little flowers have these little tiny dots in them. And they don't always stick if you don't push them down. So you just want to push them down. Okay, so we're going to make our leaves green. And we're going to make our flowers the pretty pinks. So we're going to make the big rows. Thank you, Sarah. I really like this, too. I love these signs on the glass like this. Um, well, as we've talked about in the past, I'm a glass person. So I like the glass. Um, and I think they're different. You know, they're not just your... You can't walk into Michael's and Joanne's and Hobby Lobby and all those places and buy this a sign like this. You have to make it. Um, and they make really, really nice gifts. And, you know, I bought a Mother's Day present. Oh, sorry, Mom. I bought a Mother's Day present today. <laughs> I forget that my mom watches these. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, though. But I did buy a Mother's Day present. See, I'm already into Mother's Day. And it's not even Valentine's Day yet, people. But don't worry. The celebration of love. Love, 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 love. We're going to get there. And we are going to make some amazing Valentine's Day signs. I'm waiting for a shipment for one of the transfers that I don't have yet. But otherwise, I do have quite a few already. And we are going to go to town on Valentine's Day. Because it is the celebration of love, and it should be celebrated. Okay, now we're going to do... Now I can see that I'm starting to dry, so I'm going to speed it up. Um, because you do not want your chalk to dry on your transfer. If your chalk dries on your transfer, when you pull up your transfer the transfer brings the chalk with it because it just kind of sits on the top when it dries. Um, unlike ink, ink does not do that. So we're getting in my little tiny crevices of my flowers and trying very hard not to pull in the other colors. Oh, I think this color combination is going to look nice. It's also kind of springy. So maybe after my super windy day today, um, I'm in the spring mode completely. So I'm pulling up. This is, oh my gosh, ladies, we did a great job with our color choices. Good job. Oh, this is pretty. Holy cow. Okay, peachy keen is my new favorite color. Okay, I say that about every color. Wow. Check this out, ladies. Okay, and I'm going to try to get it at an angle so you can see it. Look at those beautiful colors. This would look nice in somebody's house, don't you think? Cool. All right. So my picture frame is our next issue. So I did spray paint the picture frame. It's not done yet, full disclosure. So don't look too closely at it. It needs a few more coats. Um, I think it might work. I'm not crazy about the color. Of the picture frame because I did it a different color than I did the background but I like the contrast of it so this is the frame okay this is a cute sign I'm I, okay can you see it now Ooh, a greener peach frame Cheryl now that's interesting that might not be bad um, I tend to go with you know the Monotone, I guess, is probably the right word. What do you think, ladies? I know you're dying to win this sign. I'm going to fix the spray paint on the sign. Oops. Provided I don't break the glass. Um, I don't know back there if you can see it. Okay. I love this sign. Holy cow. This is a nice sign. Okay, so this is our last of you are enough. I know, Lisa, don't you love the buffalo plaid? I am so addicted to buffalo plaid. It's not even funny. Um, but I do love the buffalo plaid. I'm kind of becoming a houndstooth convert, though, too. I've seen some really cool things with the houndstooth, so I've got some more tricks up my sleeve with the houndstooth. But um, I'll take a picture of this so it's easier for you guys to see it without the glare of my lights. I have these lights so that it's really dark in this room without them so that you can see the colors better. Um, drawing, we'll do that quickly um, today, or I'm sorry, tomorrow or the following day. So share away. Tell all your friends. Um, if you have questions about how to use the products, oh, and 
I'm doing a 14 day marketing challenge totally outside of my comfort zone so it's a 14 day deal if you guys want the notes I'm happy to share them with you so I'm gonna take notes every day with the challenge so um, if you want them let me know and I'm more than happy to share the notes with you um, but it's you know like I forget to ask you to share the video and I forget to tell you know because I'm just busy talking I forget about the whole fact that I'm trying to show you that you guys can do these things at home um, and I would love to see your creations because you guys are buying the stuff so um, share pictures with the group of what you're making please if you get an opportunity so that's all I got for you tonight thank you you prefer the contrast of the frame to make it pop you think so Carol would you hang it in your house though or do you need that more muted the other thought I thought I had was I could spray paint the frame gray like a dark gray or black I mean I have black frames that are 11 by 14 which is the size of this piece of glass so maybe we'll play with it um, but the lucky winner of the frame can tell us what they would like tell me what they would like and I will be more than happy to fix it if you are local I am more than happy to deliver the sign to you if you're outside of Elm Grove or Brookfield you need to come here and pick it up unless you're in Texas and if you're in Texas I'd be more than happy or California Montina watches too um, I'm more than happy to mail it to you those people of you that are out of state like that that are so nice and watch me but I hope you all have a lovely 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 evening the celebration of love is gonna start soon so I'm sure you'll be back at seeing me um, but I hope you all have a lovely night see ya thanks for watching bye bye